Hi guys, it's Michelle from For the Love of Coupons, and I just want to take a quick moment and show you guys how to make record bowls. They're really kind of cool. So if you find records uh, for cheap at a thrift store or at a garage sale, pick them up and you can actually make some really cool bowls out of them. So I'm just going to take you over here and show you. This is my stove. Welcome to the 70s. Okay, well, <laughs> here's one that I just previously made. It's just um, get cooling on, and I made it by sticking it to the back of this pot. So the idea is to use a shape. I put, I use a baking sheet to start, and then here's my record. And I'm trying out different things. Now, you want an oven-safe dish. So this is a cat, an old casserole dish I have here. And I'm just going to put the record right on top of the casserole dish. And you can see I've set my oven to about, it's about 250 bake, nothing fancy. Now you're not going to want to leave this alone. Pick the side that you want on the outside here. Um, you want to keep a close eye on this because uh, they actually do melt very fast in the oven. You don't want to superheat them either because again they're they are vinyl records and they can give off gassing so you, you don't want to superheat them so i'm just going to put it in the oven and we'll give it a couple minutes here and um i will take a picture of the one that that one that does come out here's another one that i've made over here you can see this one was made on this bowl so I just had this bowl upside down in the oven and I made it like this. Now when you take it out of the oven, it's super pliable. You can actually touch it a little bit with your fingers if you're careful. You might want to use like, if you have a pair of like um, leather gloves, you may be able to use the leather gloves on your hands to actually mold the record while it's still hot. So there's that one. And then we'll come back over here and you can see this is the one that was on the, the, um, my pot so it just comes right off I'm you're not leaving it in the oven long enough for it to actually melt to your valuable dish so make sure you be careful of that and also you want to try and get it centered so this isn't perfectly centered but it's still fun it's it's really kind of a unique little dish um, make good gifts let's see how how it's coming in here now so you can kind of see it's starting to melt down But yeah, it needs a couple more minutes, so we'll leave it in there, and then I'll take a picture of it after, and uh, I'll show you. Maybe I will try and let it melt, because I, I do want to show you how actual pliable they are. I'm going to say hi, Evan. Hi. Wave. Welcome to my messy house. I'm always doing a million things all at once. That's why my house is always a disaster, because I like to take on projects and never finish any of them. <laughs> so we'll just give it another couple of seconds and then we'll see how it's going. Starting to melt down, see? You can see how, and, and when you actually touch, you can see, like, look how pliable that is. Isn't that amazing? This is just a record, people. Like, it's a really unique way of making a bowl, so... Give it a few more minutes. Uh, I'll take this moment to maybe show you really quickly a little bit about my stockpile. You can see here's my very messy kitchen. Welcome to it. Here's some of my stockpile up here. These are just items that I have put up there, you know, when I need something I can go and get it and take it down. It's really messy right now, so sorry about that. Here's my other side. You can see I've uh, hoarded my Mio and my palm olive and uh, my finish up there. So that's what I've been using. I, I limit myself to that stockpile and then I've got my Pediasure there. Okay, let's see how this baby's doing. It's just about done. See how it's come all the way down? Just maybe a couple more seconds in there. Because you want it to be really melty so that you can kind of mold it into whatever shape. And then you can give the bowl these, these little adorable little wrinkles in, in here by just 
the way it falls when it melts, but I'm trying to get it in a way that I can make it more uniform and, and make it actually look like it was planned that way. So these are, this was my very first experimental bowl. So maybe we'll take it out and see if we can play around with it a little bit. So I've got my oven mitts on. Make sure you're using an oven mitt. This one's almost star shaped. It's kind of nifty. Whoa, you don't want to slide it. Okay. So now very carefully with your fingers because it is hot, but it, it's not like as long as you're not touching it for a long period of time, it's not too bad. Now this one may not be the best because I guess the bowl is kind of wide. So I mean, it, like I said, it's it's kind of trial and error. Maybe if I give it another couple seconds in the oven, it'll it'll come down more, but that'll give you the idea. Well, thanks for watching.